to join the talk of men, right? <laughs> okay, thank you. See ya. It is unique in, in that it's still unspoiled. In my book, it's still unspoiled. Hello, I'm John Goldsmith, and welcome to Crisfield, Maryland. I'm here to tell you, not exactly your typical quaint, charming, picture postcard kind of town. Oh, like the more popular locales on the eastern shore of the Chesapeake, this place is old, all right. It was settled 70 years before George Washington slept anywhere. But that's where the comparisons end, and Crisfield begins. Field is as far from a tourist trap as you can get. It's an authentic, hard-working waterman's town. A city with dirt under its fingernails, or more likely crab meat, and proud of it. Well, you come in our community, it don't look like you got much here. Mostly what I see in our community is the friendship and the willing to help. It makes me feel proud that I had part of it. And I love Crisfield. If I die, I'm going to be buried here. You know you make me wanna... It's the sort of place where little girls grow up with a dream to be named the Queen of Crab City, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1992 Miss Crustacean pageant winner, Amy Madrix. Crispy really have not changed a lot. It's one of those places where just about everything is the same. Everybody knows everybody else in Crisfield. And in a hangout called Gordon's Confectionery, everybody knows everybody else's business. We come find out who's, we, we come down here, find out who's in jail, who's had an automobile accident, who's going with somebody else's wife. Our husband. In fact, we were just talking about that. We were <laughs> Undiscovered by developers, ignored by tourists, loved by mosquitoes, this oyster dredging, crab picking, two stoplight town is one of the most fascinating places we've documented this side of Alaska. Stay with us as we develop a unique portrait of Chesapeake life we call Eastern Exposure. Eastern Exposure is brought to you by Tyson's Corner Center. With 230 stores, it's the perfect place for all your holiday shopping. Toyota, who invites you to discover the all-new Corolla. Discover Corolla again. And Exxon 93 Supreme Gasoline. For high performance, rely on the Tiger. streets a thousand times but tonight there's something different tonight you're using exxon 93 supreme gasoline for a cleaner engine smooth acceleration and a full 93 octane let the tiger set you free rely on exxon supreme Raindrop may reach the 1993 Lexus LS400. Getting inside is another matter. An improved side rail weather stripping channels more water away from open doors and windows. So while you make your journey in comfort, the Raindrop makes its in vain. 
1993 LS 400. The pursuit continues. Is there something different, Ty, about the eastern shore of Maryland? Women? Is this a different part of the country over here? Well, it is to me. I've been around a lot, but uh, Eastern Shore is the greatest place on earth. And an old waterman's idea of the greatest place on earth has nothing to do with the east coast of the United States. He's talking about the salt marshes, the wildlife, the people of the Chesapeake Bay's eastern shore. In attitude, outlook, and character, a kind of country unto itself. If the whole area is off the beaten track, Chrisfield, population 2,800, give or take, doesn't even have a track. A dozen miles off the main drag, the locals are fond of saying the town is on a cul-de-sac. Perhaps dead end sounds too much like an epitaph. One thing's sure, there isn't much to recommend this place to the casual tourist. It is older than Philadelphia, but has practically nothing to show for it. Because over the decades, Chrisfield has burned down more often than the backdraft ride at Universal Studios. The occasional visitors, people the town folks affectionately call, what was it again, Mayor? Did he call them foreigners? I, I don't like to hear that word, but they call them foreigners. Oh yeah, foreigners, meaning all of us from anywhere more than three miles away. Anyhow, the occasional visitors are probably just using Chrisfield as a parking lot on their way to touring one of the more popular Chesapeake attractions. Well, we just bought our ticket for the boat to take the cruise over to Tangier Island. Uh, Out of the car, onto the boat. That's it. We're still a little shy with tourists coming in. Even I am. I think when people get to know me, I can talk all day long, but uh, it's hard for me to get to know people initially. How do, how do you spot them? How do you spot the foreigners when they come in? It's easy. It's probably you. <laughs> and some of us foreigners find less than attractive the seafood processors lining the waterfront, occupying the prime real estate, and giving Crisfield a distinctive, how can I put this nicely, a distinctive <laughs> eau de parfum? Would you want to buy a condominium down here for $100,000 and you smell crab juice all night long? To look at it today, it's no wonder not many tourists want to. And it's hard to imagine that this used to be the queen of the Chesapeake, the boomingest town on the bay. Originally called Summer's Cove, the place was 200 years old before a fellow named John W. Crisfield put his name on the map by bringing the railroad to town, driving it right smack down the middle of Main Street to the water's edge. Before you could say Oysters Rockefeller, Crisfield was the scene of a seafood version of the gold rush, a little of the Wild West on the eastern shore. Well, maybe not this wild, but the stage shootout during the city's annual Hard Crab Derby doesn't miss the mark by much. After the turn of the century, Little Crisfield was called the seafood capital of the world, and with good reason. They were shucking and shipping like you couldn't believe oysters literally becoming the foundation of the town's future. They process them by the millions a day, acting as if they'd never exhaust the supply. And crabs? More came from here than anywhere in the country. Why, as recently as the 1940s, there'd be times when this harbor was so crowded you couldn't see the water for the work boats. When I was a little boy, for instance, you could walk from one boat to another to the other side. Just walking on boats like they were a bridge. Just like the bridge across to the other side of there. Like they're bringing in their fish harvests in their summertime and their crabs. 
wintertime arsers the same way. But even with Scotty's generation, everybody calls Mayor Richard Scott Scotty, even then the harvest was beginning to decline, the town turning to industry off the water to keep its head above it. But ultimately, nothing halted Chris Field's bumpy slide to the bottom rung of the economic ladder where it sits today, leaving businessman John Taws, everybody calls him Jay, in search of a silver lining. Well, you know, I've been saying for the last couple of years, when you've got the highest unemployment, the lowest income per capita in the state, you know, and you've got a plant closing and you've got seafood going downhill, where else can you go but uphill? <laughs> Whether they really believe the turnaround is coming or they really don't care, we found Chris Fielders to be nowhere near as depressed as their economic statistics. When hard times hit here, we, 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 we pay no attention to it. Because it's hard times down here all the time. And if the depression hits them down here, they know how to live. The city people don't live that good. You know, they, fast money and the money falls down, they ain't got nothing to fall back on. Here, do we have? I think so. I, uh, I like to say we've got a, a, a wonderful way of life here. Uh, down, I guess we've always been there, so we don't know what down is. Hun Lawson's family has called this area home for a dozen generations, and in some ways at least, still personifies the town. We're laid back, you know, and, and uh, I don't get in a rush for anything anymore. I mean, it's, I don't know, it's, yeah, we take a lot of pride in, in, in being Crisfield. Yeah. We're making it. Yeah, if the stock market crashes, not many people are jumping out windows and Not here, no. They don't probably don't even pay no attention to it. But they say, what? Another day. safe and courteous drivers could be found all over this country. Today, these drivers are a vanishing breed. But we know you're out there, and we built a car insurance company just for you. Geico, we have only one policy, safety. Happy Hanukkah and Merry Christmas. In case you haven't discovered what makes the all-new Toyota Corolla all-new, here are some subtle hints. Well, maybe not so subtle. Introducing the all-new 1993 Toyota Corolla. Discover Corolla again. Took me about 25 years to see things the way I do now. And I think I'm still learning. One thing that a customer should get is the feeling that he is the most important person in the place. At two shows. You open your place to people more with American Express. It's easier. <laughs> no, I couldn't really put it any other way. American Express is welcome to Harry's Bar and just about anywhere else Harry's been. job it's, it, it'll keep you it'll keep you hopping I tell you I tell you now you can get the times out there when you can just enjoy it I mean beautiful sunrises and 
nice, pretty cool days like we've had for the summertime is, is, is real enjoyable weather-wise, and you get in close contact with nature, and it feels good, but as far as the job goes, it's hard work. If you want a eight-hour job, 40-hour a week job, this is not for you. Welcome to the office of 39-year-old Elijah Lee Wilson, Jr., CPA. As the title indicates, my son, the Waterman, is not exactly what Lee's father had in mind. The family has worked the Chesapeake for generations, but Elijah Sr. wanted something better for his boy, something safer and more secure, something like filling out other people's 1040 forms. I went to college for five years, and I got a degree, and I saw that way of life. And you, and you look into cities and stuff, and you see that way of life, and you look down here and see our way of life. I'll never be rich. You'll never be a rich man doing this job, I tell you that now. But uh, I have a good family, and uh, uh, I make a living, and uh, just enjoy the lifestyle. Just enjoy the lifestyle. I'm not in the rat race. I don't, uh, I'm not in a traffic jam every morning for an hour, hour and a half hollering at the next guy to get out of the way so I can get there and I got to go get, be in there at 7.30, you know, and do the same thing at night and shove across the Bay Bridge or somewhere to come back home. And uh, it's, it's a different way of life. Freedom, fresh air, being your own boss, the romantic life of the waterman. I stayed with it until uh, I, my legs went. I had uh, torn muscles in my legs and bone spurs on the heel and you're on your feet all day long. And I told my wife one day, I said, you know, I started out fishing 150 track. Now I'm a, I was doing 600 when I quit. And I said, uh, the fun's gone. You know, it, it was really drudgery. Well, that's all right, mama. That's all right for you. That's all right, mama. Just any way you do that's all right. It's pure work, that's all it is, and you're, you're, you're <clears throat> hauling the pots back in. We, we set the pots, and you leave the pots for one or two days, and you just go up and you, you pull the pots up, and you, you dump the crabs out, bait them back and put them back, and it's continuous, and one after another, work, work, work. After 10 hours of this, if all goes well, Lee will arrive at the dock with 60 bushels of blues, more than 6,000 of them. A harvest that, depending upon the market, could be worth $800 or barely half that. It sounds like farming, but... It's out of control a lot more than farming. I can tell you that right now. It's out of control a lot more than farming. We gotta depend on nature a lot more. It, it would be more like uh, picking something out of the wild all the time. And this brings us to the man who may be able to answer the burning question of our times. What makes the blue crab one of the most unpredictable, cantankerous, and downright meanest critters on the face of the earth? <laughs> that I don't know. I can't tell you that. That's like I'm telling you, there's a lot about a crab that I don't know. And there's a lot about a crab nobody don't know. And if anybody knows what nobody knows, Kai Tyler's the guy. Always ready to educate a city slicker about jimmies, they're the boy crabs, sooks, those are the girls, and how they do, uh, well, you know. See, she opened that flap up like that, and he hooks her like that. Huh. Kai is a local institution, a living legend, the waterman's waterman. Remember that song about Davy Crockett killed him a bar when he was only three? In Kai's case, of course, it was a crab. When I was a little boy, we used to come around this marsh, and we'd go up these mud guts and pick them up. And I had one, I was about eight years old, I had one bite me. And I weren't too far from where I lived at, back there in the marsh. And I mean, he wouldn't let go. He was a hurting, and he got me crying. And finally, when he let go, I stomped him till there weren't nothing left at all. 
Oh, and I, I stomped him, and I went back there every day for two months and did it. <laughs> That's how bad I was. At 75, despite a quintuple bypass, Kai is still skimming over the shallows without benefit of chart or depth sounder, still saying this will be his last year on the water, which no one really believes, and still serving as an example for members of the younger generation, who sometimes worry about growing old out here instead of behind a desk. Right now, I don't have any regrets. And I hope when I'm old and 65 or 70 and probably still going around in a little boat and I have grandchildren, I hope I still don't have any regrets. That's yet to be seen. Also yet to be seen is whether Elijah Lee Wilson III will follow in his father's way. I, I don't know if it will be left. Like I say, this, I don't know if we'll have another generation or not after, after my generation. As a matter of fact, right now, uh, probably for the last 10 or 12 years, we haven't seen many new watermen right here in this community coming in full time. Uh, it depends whether I would like him to or not. It, it all depends on what makes him happy. It may be a harsh, a dangerous, and an uncertain life being a waterman, but how many people do you know who talk about their job this way? Being with nature is it's hard for me it's hard for me to describe. You feel God at her. You really do. Uh, being a Christian, being a religious man, that's when I feel the closest. And if I'd have to describe it to somebody, if if you if you ever do have a feeling for your maker, you get out there and you'll have it. You see the power of the bay, and you also see the tranquility, your beautiful mornings, and beautiful afternoons and sunsets. Eastern exposure will continue after these messages. Right now, you can get 21 extra bags of groceries into a Dodge Caravan, or 14 extra family pets, or almost enough extra equipment for a Pee Wee League football team. Because for the price of a regular caravan, you can get a grand caravan. That's 25 extra cubic feet of space at no extra charge, for savings up to $21.50 during the Dodge Awards Celebration Sale. Because the only thing better than America's best-selling minivan is more of it. See your nearest Dodge dealer today. This city is growing. But it will never grow here. Because several years ago, people who work nearby led an effort to protect all of this land and the wildlife that lives here. Forever. Do people make certain that parts of the country never become the city? People do. What kind of room do you need in a van? How about playroom? Work room? Living room? And most of all, breathing room for seven adults. Wow. Ah. And for all that room inside, it's only two inches longer than a Honda Accord outside. So it's easy to drive. Introducing the new mid-size Volkswagen Eurovan, the world's biggest van for its size. Experience Far Picnugan, only in a Volkswagen. See your Washington area Volkswagen retailer. I'm going to rewind it just a hair. Ready, girls? Three. Every night they came here for two weeks, these dozen teenage girls, sacrificing the precious evenings of a waning summer to rehearse for the annual pageant. Beyond just doing it, by all outward appearances, they were actually enjoying it, genuinely excited about competing for the title, Miss Crustacean. It's a big part of crab derby when you're watching the prey when you're small and you see Miss Crustacean waving. <laughs> they they just, had little miss, you know too. You want to do it. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a little talking into. Yeah. 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 Your family coaxing. <laughs> 
so technical of talking, you've got to get talked into it. Can't get your nerve up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in a bathing suit. <laughs> It'll take a little talking to get me to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing kids having a good time outside of a shopping mall, away from a video arcade, in a town with neither one, made us feel the music was right on. The 1950s are alive and well and living in Crisfield, Maryland. Yeah, we need the poodle skirts and, and the convertible Chevrolets, and we'd be right there, wouldn't we, huh? <laughs> well, that's why we want to be, you know. Uh, we don't want to be in the electronic age. All you want to do is ride about Sally. Ride about Sally. We're talking about a place where a teenager's idea of exciting nightlife is cruising the strip. Every teenager is excited to get their license to ride around in circles. <laughs> um, it, it sounds pretty. I guess stupid to some people who don't live here. But when you get your license and you get your car, you go out on the strip, not just to ride around in circles, but you're, you go to find your friends. Go down to that depot, sit down and watch him on Saturday nights. You can count one car about 100 times. Going nowhere. The weather tars out on the inside. But being a 1950s kind of town, doesn't mean everybody is singing the theme song from Happy Days. This, too, is a picture of the 1950s, maybe even the 1850s. For when it comes to this cotton-picking job, not much has changed in a hundred years. Yeah, I started when I was 12, but then I stopped for a while, about five years, and then I just came back to pick some more. It's something you never forget. <laughs> Once you learn how to do it, you never forget how to do it. My God, I'm 72, but 55 years ago, I guess. It's been 55 years I've been picking, yeah. I'm 72 now, Jack. That's the real deal. Years ago, there was a lot of segregation around here, and uh, uh, there's no no doubt about it. They were on the lower end of the of the pay scale, and then then it just became an occupation for them. And I think that's more than more than anything else why you see them. I think it's something that just evolved into 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 that situation. Hey, get rhythm. When you get the blues, come on, get a rhythm. When you get the blues. On a good day, with lots of blues to pick at $1.75 a pound, Van Colburn might earn $50 or $60. This is not going to be a good day. I mean, I'm going to pick a day. I can't judge that. I'm going to pick one now. But I, I guess I'll get a gal in five pounds. Uh-huh. I hope I will, anyway. And that will earn Van $8.75. In my day, it was a little better because they had better craves. Now, they don't have that. People that work in the cravers now, now they really don't have a hope. Have you ever been down to your last stop? Okay. I'm talking about hope now. Yeah. Oh, Hallelujah. To your last stop. And not knowing where you were going to work at the next day. And a family to feed. And rent to pay. Oh, praise the Lord. Reverend Dorothy Holden, pastor of the Highway Holiness Church, preaches from experience. Her congregation is so poor, it can't afford to pay her. And like many in her flock, she knows firsthand that crab picking is another Crisfield occupation passed from generation to generation. I looked at my mother. I didn't want to. I had a, no other choice. My kids looked at me. They didn't want to pick crabs. They say it's nothing in it. It's not, we'll never, you know, make it. I knew they would never make it. 
So the girls and things, and they are not looking at it, and they're saying, for what? You know, why would I learn to pick grass? men catch the crabs. Black women pick them. That's the way it's always been in Crisfield, the way it is today. But the jobs that separate them also bring them together as they share a common goal, something better for their children. I made it my purpose to send them to school, to make sure that they would finish school, come what may, two, three jobs, what? To make sure some way they went to college. I wanted it better for them. And the kids, black or white, all realize they aren't going to find that better life here. The opportunities aren't here for, for, for the, you know, you're going to be an executive in Crisfield. The best you can do is get with one of the banks and hope somebody dies and you can move up, you know. You gonna stay in Crisfield? Do you think this is a place where you want to live and and raise no. your family? No, no. <laughs> I do. I it's, it's a nice place to live and to, to grow up with your families, but there's more opportunities elsewhere than there is here. They all say they love the town, and as soon as they get the chance, they're, they're out leaving. Of here. It's not because they want to. Even through the prejudice or the hard times, or whatever. I think if our kids could really make it here, they, it's something about Crisfield. It's hard. And you are going to live in poverty if you stay here. But it's still something about it that you love and you enjoy. Drug half price Christmas sale, you can get this six foot Mountain King tree for half price. Of course, it's indecent to show a naked tree on TV. So we suggest dressing it up with a tree stand for half price or silky garland for half price and brighten things up with a 50 bulb Merry Bright Light set also for half price. Make sure you've got all your Christmas decorations covered for half price at People's Drug. It takes a special kind of car to pass the test we give at Oldsmobile, like Cutlass Sierra. Recently ranked the best model in initial quality in its price class by J.D. Power and Associates. What's more, of all the Cutlass Sierras sold in the last 10 years, 95% are still on the road. So if you're looking for a quality car, you know exactly where to look. Oldsmobile, the power of intelligent engineering. Get an especially big deal now during Oldsmobile's 95th birthday celebration. It's as simple as using energy-saving bulbs. You'll be 17 when this bulb burns out. Just by switching to high-efficiency products, you'll save electricity and money as the years go by without sacrificing comfort. You'll also save natural resources. That's good to know whenever you need electricity. And even when you don't. Pepco. We're connected to you by more than power lines. Crisfield's the type of town that everybody would want to say that that's where I'm from. It's the type of town where people say hi to each other in the morning. 
Chrisfield is also the type of town that lends itself to a mixed bag of observations under the heading, it's the sort of place where the cops have a reserved parking space in front of the plain and fancy, a mom and pop and daughter diner that without fail closes early one day a week. Go ahead, ask. Tuesday nights, you're not open. You close early Tuesday. Why is that? At five? Bingo! Actually, pool is Cindy's game. It's her mother, Mary, who likes... Bingo. We have a bingo. Hold your cards, please. And if you think that's exciting, you'll love Crisfield Nightlife, American Legion style. Anybody in this town ever heard of the Surgeon General's report? Warning. Despite all of its shortcomings, Crisfield is the sort of place you might actually get hooked on. And if you fall for the town, as realtor John Schultz might put it, you can buy a piece of paradise for crab bait. The house is priced at $39,000 with eight acres of ground. It's the sort of place where the descendants of a few founding families still fill the phone book, meaning there are lots of Lawson's, Handy's, and here a taws, there a taws, everywhere a taws, taws, and taws, trading as the Taws Brothers. Speaking of siblings, this is the place the late great Ward Brothers called home. World-renowned artists, their best works today are valued at fifty, sixty, a hundred thousand dollars apiece. They spent their entire lives carving and painting the decoys that became treasured wildfowl art in little old Crisfield. This multi-million dollar monument to their talent is attracting visitors from all across the country. The trouble is, Salisbury, Maryland has the Ward Brothers Museum. Crisfield has the Ward Brothers outhouse. It's right behind their crumbling workshop. Artist Jack Schroeder hopes to fix up the old homestead and draw some tourists to town. To me, the museum is a grand marquee for us. And if we can get 10 or 20 percent of those people who have already come across the country to come down to see the real thing, uh, then we'll be doing great guns. And I'm not sure that we can hold Chrisfield, <laughs> you know. But for now, at least, Chrisfield's prime attractions remain its marina and the occasional festival, including the granddaddy of them all, the Hard Crab Derby. There's an Elvis movie on the marquee sign. We've all seen at least three times. Our state fair <laughs> in our county, and and uh, it, it, it's our big thing. I think it means a lot more to us than than than. Well, the outsiders come in to party and have a good time, but it's a homecoming. It's a real homecoming. On Derby weekend, the whole town turns out for Chrisfield's version of the Miss America pageant. I think it's an honor to represent Chrisfield. A lot of people don't realize how nice of an area Chrisfield really is, the water and everything, and it's got a lot to offer. You got a lot of people out there you know, and you want to do good when you get out in front of them. You want to speak well, you want to act like you know what you're doing. Contestant number six is Jill Dyes. Jill is the daughter of Rookie and Karen Dyes. She is being sponsored tonight by Captain's Carryout. I can make you mine, taste your lips of wine, any time, night or day. Only trouble is, she lives, I'm dreaming my life. Is 
Miss Crustacean pageant winner, Amy Madrix. It was so much fun. I mean, it was a blast. All of us can say that. It was a blast. I just can't believe it. <laughs> Are the pickers ready? Raise your hands to show me you're ready, ladies, if you will. On your mark, get set, go! About a thousand dollars on a trip to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, expenses paid for the last week of September, where they will pick crabs in the America's Superstore. Ladies and gentlemen, Hazel Cropper. I have a daughter getting ready to graduate this year, and crab picking has been very scarce. So I prayed next God would he bless my hands one more time to let me get my daughter through high school. So I give my praises to him. She picked crabs in the name of God. The town picked a teen queen in the name of crabs. It could only happen in a place named Crisfield. Road noise has to go through a lot to get into the cabin of the Lexus ES300. That's why it rarely makes the trip. El Gordo is coming. At last. It was a big man who brought El Gordo to town. But then you need a big man to carry one of the biggest jackpots ever given away by the Maryland lottery. Yep, El Gordo would make up to 11 millionaires in one day. He said the tickets were five bucks, but the payoff... You mongers! Mucho dinero! <laughs> Today, someone is going to pay too much for a book. Please, don't let it be you. Come to Crown. No other bookstore matches our everyday discounts on thousands and thousands and thousands of titles. Guaranteed. Save 40% on Mishner's Mexico. Its history unfolds through a cast of unforgettable characters. And save 40% off on Daniel Borstein's The Creators, art from pyramid builders to Picasso. So remember, if you paid full price, you didn't buy it at Crown or Super Crown. Features like standard driver's side airbag and optional passenger airbag, anti-lock brakes, child-proof rear door locks, and power windows with lockout feature make Ford Taurus a very safe investment. And with this limited time offer, it's a very shrewd one. Right now, during your Ford dealer's Taurus leadership drive, you can buy a new 93 Taurus GL with V6 automatic air and airbag, sticker priced for just $15,677 after cash back, all before you make your best deal. But hurry, this offer ends soon. What is it about a town like Crisfield that makes it so appealing? Well, I guess the, the surroundings and the nice people. And just the, It's just not that hustle bustle that's like up in the city. We asked the guy running the motel if he could call us a cab, and he asked where we were going, and we said we were going downtown to get a bite to eat. He said, just take my car, the keys are in it. We certainly don't have a lot of major crime in Crisfield, but um, I think that has a lot to do with the numbers of people that are in Crisfield, the fact that police officers know everybody in Crisfield, everybody knows police officers. I like a small town where I can go down the street and everybody waves to me and says, Hi, Jack, how are you? That never happened in Annapolis. And I like dealing with a bank, and when they make a mortgage payment, everybody cheers. 
I mean, that's worth something. All this small town charm kind of makes me, oh, I can't resist it. However, we carry more than one bullet. We now carry about 15, as a matter of fact. How you doing, Charlie? I can't. Oh, you're on camera today, you? Good heavens. <laughs> and if Mayberry had a character peddling papers, he would have been a guy like Charlie. Documentary or something, Dick Nike. Okay. Probably make us famous. Yeah. <laughs> He's a caretaker at the Crisfield Cemetery, except Wednesdays, when Charlie is definitely in step with the times. Everybody knows him. Charlie! Hey! He knows everybody. All right. Thanks, Thank Deborah. Uh -huh. Thanks, Ivor Gino. Hey! Up, How are you? All right. Thank you both. He's been stopping traffic at 9th and Main for 53 years. You spit a lot of beer joints on uh, on uh, on every corner, and it was uh, bowling alleys, movie theaters, and everything. Except they all gone. That used, that restaurant there was old uh, Liberty Stable one time, and it was it's a lot of places along here is gone. You think it's. You think the town's going to be okay, that it's going to hang in there? Yeah, it'll, it'll hang. When you read the Crisfield Times, it's, it's dead news. It's a small community. It gets, it gets around. Unbelievable how, how quick things can get out. I don't think there, there are any secrets in this town. None that I know of. Or all or, of you know of. Or, 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 <laughs> right, exactly. This place has got a grapevine oh, yeah. that is, is second to none. I mean, oh, yeah. Ma Bell is put to shame by the communication oh, yeah. system oh, yeah. in this yes, town. Right. That drives you nuts sometimes? Oh, yes. It, it drives you crazy. You know, I can say that here, I can tell you something today, and you go down to a place we call Garden Factionary down there, and it stretched a little longer, a little farther. I think so. Oh, yeah. Jim? Two tones. Hey, left. Hey, Dawn. This is it, Gordon's Communications Central. If gossip is the lifeblood of Crisfield, this place has got to be the heart of the town. I think a lot gets answered here. We get down to the bottom of it, right here at Gordon's. Yeah. For the past 18 years, Miss Joe has been frying eggs and listening to the guy's gab. And if you ask her, Men gossip ten times more women, and they're louder than women. Yeah, yeah. People won't believe it. If you come in here and you would say, come in here for a week, you would say there's no woman that could keep up with a man talking. No way. My girlfriend, that's one argument I can't have with her anymore about gossip. She'll, she'll probably come in here about 8 o'clock, and she usually comes in and sees 20. 25 men, and the decimal's about over 100. The specialties of the house, scrapple, hot dogs, and the rumor du jour. There should be another sign over the counter. Never let the truth interfere with a good story. They sell more coffee here than they do on the East, anywhere else on the East Coast. More coffee. If these 68-year-old walls could talk, one of the tales they'd tell is about that high school senior class trip to New York. When the beer came out, the girls' tops came off and the kids trashed the bus. Jay Taws remembers. When we got back to Crisfield the next morning, everybody in Gordon's knew about it. And they were already degrading our senior class, you know, bef before anybody, almost before we even got home. It was unbelievable how quick that, that rumor got out. If one place captures the character of Crisfield, this is it. And sooner or later, everyone in town comes here. Take this place away from us and move on. Got nothing to do, nowhere to go. This is that. Uh... 
one other thing embodies the true flavor of Crisfield, crab cakes. And everybody in town knows who makes the world's best. The very best come from Plain and Fancy on 4th and Main in Crisfield, Maryland. Where are the world's best crab cakes? Captain's Galley. Really? Yes. We've got the world's best crab cakes in all four restaurants. I can't tell you what goes into my crab cakes, but I'll put them up beside of anybody's in Crisfield or wherever. The best crab cakes in Crisfield, without a doubt, are my father-in-law's. Uh, world's best crab cake? Yeah. Everybody doesn't like prime rib. I'd rather have prime rib and a crab cake any day, but... but uh, You're kidding? Huh? Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crab cake. My wife says I better say here. <laughs> Too many fish in the sea. Dodging Woody, Texas Dales, Lord and Taylor, Bloomingdale's, Royal Formal, Rex and Rallies, Bailey, Banks and Biddle, Valley, Sing the Trading Company, the Disney Store for Snake, a team, Walton Software, Safety Zone, and ADD to Telephone, Bridges, Great Outdoors, Wendy and Luciano's Pizzeria, People's Drugs and Bruce, One Hour, Stephen Windsor, Ready Power, Alba Caesar, Mountain Sports, CBI, FAO, Schwartz, Ticketmaster, has your ticket, Lee has ice cream, you can like it, baby, get that decent on a banana. In case you haven't discovered what makes the all-new Toyota Corolla all-new, here are some subtle hints. Well, maybe not so subtle. Introducing the all-new 1993 Toyota Corolla. Discover Corolla again. You've driven these streets a thousand times. But tonight, there's something different. Tonight, you're using Exxon 93 Supreme gasoline for a cleaner engine, smooth acceleration, and a full 93 octane. Let the tiger set you free. Rely on Exxon Supreme. fast approaching it, we haven't had time to say all we wanted to about Crisfield. Guess you'll just have to come on down and see it for yourself. If you do, plan on lingering long enough to appreciate the town's number one tourist attraction, its people, their lifestyle, their strength of character, and independence. James Michener knows the Chesapeake as well as anyone, and he says of Crisfield, I remember that rugged fishing village with a glow that will never die. We say amen to that and add this prayer. May it forever remain a place where everybody knows your name.
For information on how to purchase a videotape copy of Eastern Exposure, call 202-432-1999. Eastern Exposure was brought to you by Tyson's Corner Center. With 230 stores, it's the perfect place for all your holiday shopping. Exxon 93 Supreme Gasoline. For high performance, rely on the Tiger. And Toyota, who invites you to discover the all-new Corolla. Discover Corolla again.